Hi all, it's David here from DP Computing. Today we've got an Asus F453M. It's a brand new one, still in the box as you can see. And what I want to do is actually um, upgrade its RAM. So just a low-end laptop and only comes with 2 gig of RAM. So I'm going to put in another 4 gig of RAM, which is here. So we'll just open it all up and then it's an actual total teardown of this unit because we have to get in, remove the motherboard and everything just to get to the RAM socket, which is a bit of a pain. Anyway, before I open it up, as I said, I'm, I'm going to upgrade it to some new RAM. So if we can get that in shot, it's just some Kingston RAM there. So it's KVR16LS11-4. That's the model number there. So I'll just put that to one side and we'll open up the box here. I've already done a complete unboxing of this laptop so I won't go through everything in here. We'll just get the actual unit itself. If you want to have a look at the unboxing there's a link on the screen now. Oh yeah, also before we proceed please take anti-static precautions. Um, proceed at your own risk and if you see anything different to what you see here at your end please consult a professional. Now I'll just put on my anti-static wrist strap. Uh, let's see if we can tighten it up a bit. Wow, the focus is getting onto the unit. No, it's not focusing at all there, is it? There we are. Anyway, that's the top of the unit. What we want to do is get to the bottom. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. Now they're just a Phillips head screwdriver. I'm using a Phillips head number one. Uh, just a word of warning. Um, there's two types of screws on the back here. There's a longer type screw, which is one of those and a shorter and from memory all the shorter ones are at the front of the unit there and all the others are longer so I'll just see if we can get that so there's a longer and a shorter type of screw so just take a note of where each one comes from now as you see here there's a space there or a actual spacer for an optical drive this model doesn't have the optical drive um, but if you want, you can actually remove that spacer there and put in an optical drive. Uh, you can't just pull it out at this end. I'll show you more when we get into the unit of how to remove that. Now, hopefully this shouldn't take too long. Yeah, this model is just a sort of low end budgety type value type laptop. And I don't know if it's just because of that, it's a pain to actually upgrade the memory in this unit, as you'll see. So we've taken out all the screws. Now what we have to do is turn it over and open it up. Just remove that. We have to then open up the keyboard top of the unit here. So all this bit, we have to get something in and under. Um, I've got some plastic type tools here that help us get in. Uh, you can use metal ones, but they may damage your machine and this part is I suppose I find the worst um yeah sorry I just thought something happened to the video then um here we go so just go all around and uncrack it as I said, you can use a metal thing, but you risk damaging the unit. 
a metal like flathead screwdriver or something. So when you have unclicked it all, don't just pull off the top of the unit as I'll show you once I've got it all undone. Yeah, this can, as I said, that's it. Right, so once we get the, the unit off, there's some little connectors. Now, I won't be able to really show you too much at the moment. Um, there's one connector for the trackpad and another connector for for the keyboard. So we've got the keyboard connector and the trackpad connector. They're just plugged into these two sockets here. Now what you have to do with these sockets, there's a little clip. that This one has a black clip and you just push it down and, and this one again has a little clip there and you just push it up and then when you've pushed the little um, cable or flat end ribbon cable in you just push them down and that one down like that so that's just a little word of warning now here we are I'll probably try and zoom in a bit so just bear with me a second um, again I'll just go through those connectors here this one's for the trackpad it's got that little white or creamy color colored thing so just flip that up and pull the connector out and the same here we've got a black connector there so we just need to flip that up all right here we go this is the inside of the unit we've got the hard drive here uh, the battery the fan and the ports and we've got that little um, bay for the optical drive which is there I'll just start with this first we've got one screw there Now the screws inside here are all, again, uh, Phillips head and they're all just fairly small, chromey, silver coloured. So just to distinguish from the other case type screws. Now once we've removed that, this spacer will remove and there's your little connector for the optical drive so you can just get an optical drive you'll probably need to get a specific model from ASUS um, to fit in there now first thing we have to do is remove the battery which is sitting here now there's a couple of screws or just one yeah there's just one there which is this case screw which we've already removed and then there's a couple more so just remove those screws Now there's also a little clip here so and there's a connector here now this connector again we have to flip up that or not flip up we actually have to push there's a silver little clip just push it upwards or to the top there and then we've got the power connector which will actually lift upwards so I'll just get my little doohickey here and that comes off like that okay so that's the power connector disconnect that and then we can remove the battery there's a little clip there but if you go under it you won't need to bother but if you push pull it up just watch that little clip there so just put the battery to the side before I do that I'll just see if we can get the model number there no it doesn't like me today the autofocus but what we've got is a um, lift lithium polymer battery pack B21N1329 and the rating is 7.6 volt 30 watt so there we are if you need to replace it oh that's a bit better there we go we've got the hard drive here again that's held in by four screws we've got one two three four remove those screws and the hard drive will come out in its own little caddy So 
So once those four screws are removed, just push it to the top of the laptop to disconnect it from the SATA socket. And there we go. That's in a little caddy of its own. So just remove this four more screws, one, two, three, four. They're the black ones. And you can then replace your hard drive with a larger one or put in an SSD or whatever you want to do there. So that's the hard drive. Now the motherboard's here. First thing to do with the motherboard is um, just unclip the USB connector there. So again, there's a little black thing, just pull that up and your little ribbon cable will come out. Then we've got some power connectors here uh, for the fans and the speakers. I think that one's a speaker. And this one's power for the fan. So the fan's there, it's held in by two screws. So you can remove those two screws there to remove the fan. The fan also has another screw there, but which is we remove when we remove the battery. So once those two are removed, we can remove, I think there's another four screws. Let's see, one, two, three. No, three more screws and we can remove the motherboard. Ah, oh, there is four screws, there's another one just down there which is holding in the Wi-Fi uh, module. So it's just in there. So once they're all removed, we should be able to get the actual motherboard up. And just a word of warning, there's another cable here which I won't remove, which is holding in the actual, or not holding in, which is actually for the screen. So once we remove that, if I can nicely, no, it won't let me. You got the Wi Fi module card which comes out, and there we go. We can see the memory sitting there. We've also got the ports along the side and the CPU which is just sitting here. So, I'll find where I put my memory and as always it disappears. Up here it is. I'll just open my RAM. Yeah. Please be extra careful when you're doing this because memory can get damaged by the smallest amount of static. So it's only got one slot. So as I said, it comes with two gig. I'm going to upgrade it to four gig. So there's two um, silver clips on either side. Just clip them, push them out. The memory will pop up, which you can then pull out. So that's the actual memory that's currently in there. There we go. You can see that now. It's just a two gig DIMM. And I'm going to put in some Kingston RAM. If you can see again there. We have some details of what it is. So to put it in, just make sure there's a little divider there. Make sure your divider lines up with the divider on the um, dim. Push it in and then push it down until you hear it click. And then we need to replace the motherboard back in, put in all the screws, connect the various power connectors, and put the hard drive back in, battery back in, then the keyboard on and remember those two um, ribbon cables one for the keyboard and one for the trackpad so there you go there's a teardown of a no Toshiba and a Asus I should say F453M laptop if you have any questions please leave them in the comments field below and um, also please visit our channel to see a variety of other different laptop teardowns and openings Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.